Hello, this is MML Gaming HD. I'm MML Oraculum. And I'm MML Ninja Monkey, and today we've got a Protoss versus Terran. So this is a show match that happened between White Ra and Beastie QT. And yeah, this game's gonna be quite good. It's I think it was a best of nine from the looks of the replay. It's quite a few replays. Um I don't think we're going to be casting all of those right now. But uh, hopefully we'll get as many of those up for you guys as possible. So first of all, we've got White Ra in the red as the Protoss in the bottom left. And Beastie QT in the blue as the Terran in the bottom right. Okay, so I've actually played with Beastie QT in a 4v4. Oh, quite claim to fame right here. <laughs> It is, we got owned, by the way, and he was playing Protoss as well, so he's off race, but yeah, I've actually been in a game with him. Hopefully he didn't do any of this cheesy stuff to you, because he is actually putting a barracks right now, um, <clears throat> proxied pretty close to White Ra's base, and White Ra's going to have to scout this, otherwise there could be some cheesy winning right here. So, I'm thinking this could be most definitely a Reaper, he's getting that gas, or maybe a one early Marine. But Reapers are quite good, and especially this close to the base. And, you know, you're going to be able to pick off quite a few probes with a, a very early Reaper. Yeah, but uh, at what cost? Because he, he is right now at 9 food, as White Ra has just hit 15. So he has to actually do a substantial amount of damage with this uh, Reaper or Marine or whatever he creates out of here um, to White Ra. Otherwise, that's a, a free win for White Ra. Yeah, looking at the income tab, I mean, Beastie Cutie's income is less than half the amount that White Ra's getting, so he is going to be falling behind quite fast, and as White Ra comes in with his scouting probe, he's going to see there's not actually that many SCVs. Yeah, if I saw this on ladder, I would actually be um, screaming a little right now, so hopefully White Ra's playing it a bit cooler, and he's just going to probably build a Zealot. He's still going to go for the Cyber Next Core, he's not too worried. Yeah, I think Cybernetic Core is really going to help him out. If he can get the Mothership Core out, that will really be the solid defence against any Reaper harass. Uh, as well as a Stalker. A Stalker is very good against Reapers. Um, and Stalkers are pretty good against Marines as they have that plus one range, I believe. Oh, and here's the Reaper now getting a few free shots off on that Zealot. It's just going to run out there and maybe just get free kill. Yeah, that's that Zealot just doesn't actually care. And... This Zealot is doing uh, the best thing for Aya. He is bringing that um, Reaper so far away from his base, he's actually delaying this attack for so long, and that Stalker is going to come out by the time that Reaper gets back. Well, so White Rod just spending 100 minerals on some distraction play there. His uh, rally for his gateway was right up to the uh, Terran's base, so I think he was going to go for a one-gate aggression and just did forgot about his Zealot, but in fact that actually worked out quite well for him. Now this Stalker will be able to defend this. Oh no, he gets oh, getting a very cheeky kill. Yeah, so White Ra are actually defending this very nicely and, you know, Beastie QT paid the ultimate price for that harass. It didn't work out and his income is so far behind now. Yeah, uh, Beastie QT, um, I think he's going to pull back a little bit, maybe get a few more Reapers. Those Reapers do regen very quickly. Oh, and he's going to he's going to have to do some economic damage uh, before he falls out of the game. Yeah, he's going to be trying to get around here. He's actually managed to get past those stalkers, so... Oh, but the Mothership Core, did that just come out? Brilliant surround there by the probes. Ki nearly killing both of these uh, Reapers. I think he lost one probe. And is the Mothership Core out? Yes, but it's going straight towards the Terran's base. And as well as a probe scouting around the map for White Roll right now. And he's putting down his Nexus, so he is going to be comfortably ahead right now. And Beastie QT, he is getting a Widow Mine out. He's going to have to get that somewhere in his mineral line or so somewhere in a defensive posture because this Mothership Core is going to do an untold amount of damage with no defence here. Yeah, it's going to be untold the damage that this uh, Mothership Core does do. And I don't think there's any anti-air whatsoever for Beastie QT right now. No, none at all. Not even a Marine on the map. So... I know, it's it's pretty unbelievable that a Terran doesn't even have one Marine on the map, nor has he built one. Yeah, this is just absurd. I mean, at this late in the game as well. Oh, and the, the Widow Mine's got down. How much damage is going to do? Oh, oh, my God. He killed it. Put it right down to 30 HP. That is bloody massive damage. Yeah, that's exactly what PCQT needed. And another Widow Mine here is White Rock going to 
Yeah, he does know it's there. And it four stalkers here. He's just going to be able to shoot for the low ground. Oh! White <laughs> Rot not expecting the range to be quite that far. And here come the Marines to uh, fix this. The Marines. The Marine. There is one Marine, actually, quite far back. Oh, and he loses that Widow Mine as well. That is, you know, that's basically what's keeping Beastie QT in the game right now. Yeah, you're right. And this other um, Widow Mine right now is getting healed. This is a... Uh, Quite a micro battle right now. Yeah, I've not really seen a SCVs try to prepare a widow burn like that. But here, here's what he needs. He needs to take out that mothership call right now. But no. Yeah, that that mothership call needs to go down because that that high ground vision that he has and all of these supply depots, like, oh, say, whoa, that was a nice hit from that widow mine taking out the uh, mothership call, losing that um, uphill advantage that he had of the site, but. He's, he's just got quite a big army now, actually. Yeah, it's just a bit too late. The wall was already down, and if the Widow Mine got in there a bit earlier and took down that Mothership Core, the, this fight might have gone a different way. Beastie QT might still be in this, but White Rod just has too many offensive units now. Yeah, I think White Rod knows he just needs to walk around the range of those Widow Mines, and he's won this game. He is literally... He is literally not even caring about this push right now. Just attacking, doing little bits of damage to whatever he can, and Beastie QT really can't win here. Yeah, he felt the doom, and White Rod just coming in and taking the damage that he knew he could get without any kind of uh, aggression there from Beastie QT. Yeah, no consequences, so he just did it. So that was game one between. White Ra and Beastie QT, and I think we're going on to the next game immediately right now, so uh, we'll catch you there.